Hello again, everyone, and we'll learn back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be giving you my Pisces March 2022 horoscope forecast, and yes, it does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, first thing up, as far as March goes, the sun will be in Pisces from the 1st until the 20th. So the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, at this time, there could be a lot of focus and attention. Um, on the self and self-centered interests in general. Um, it could be you know, doing things you know, associated with poetry or spirituality, the more physical, which includes astrology, dancing, photography, um, as some examples. And it could also be too that the, the sun being connected with the biological father and children, if applicable, may be prominent in new beginnings. And they can be what I just described, um, where that was connected with Pisces. Um, as far as the self centered um, interest goes, it could be poetry or dancing, photography, chemistry, the metaphysical, which includes astrology, but it could also be really at a time, it could be a time where you may shine really just. In general, where you really want to shine, where you want to stand out as far as your appearance goes and you know, just who you are, just your general, you know, your your demeanor. And it's really a time, and it may be in something Pisces related. You know, again, like I mentioned before, the things that are so could be associated with Pisces and new beginnings. And it might be a lot of uh, focus, and, or I should say motivation and drive and matters connected with the physical body and trying to become it could be just getting in more shape physically and with a lot of Pisces um, idealism um, as well and anyway well the next thing up the sun will be in Aries as far as March goes from the 20th until the 31st so the second house will be emphasized and highlighted now at this time there may be a strong focus and attention on um, could be making money, generating income, uh, monetary matters in general, uh, your values, possessions, self-worth, how you feel about yourself. And a lot of this, um, you know, as far as making money, there could be you know, focus on in areas like money making, venture endeavor. It could be something pioneering or innovative or something associated with areas um, such as uh, firefighting or welding or carpentry, arson investigation. It could be some uh, profession that involves the head. It could be a helmet design. It could even be something like speech pathology as some other examples. But this is a time where there could be a focus on really just um, impatiently trying to make money, um, having a lot of enterprise and initiative in doing so. But it could also be a time uh, where it might shine the light, so to speak, on an Aries um, like possession. It could be you know, something you know, like a sharp, like a tool, it's a sharp instrument, like scissors or some cutting knife that you had been uh, looking for. It could be you know, just anything, you know, some kind of welding uh, material, um, some examples. And the, and the sun is also connected with biological the biological father and children if applicable. So these people may be Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or may embody Aries characteristics, may figure more prominently in your self-worth, your self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, monetary matters, and possessions at this time. Now, excuse me, the next thing up. There's going to be a new moon in Pisces on March 2nd. So the first house is what we emphasized and highlighted. And at this time, uh, Pisces, this could be about, it could be a new, um, just a new beginning in general, because you're talking about the first house corresponding with new beginnings. The moon, the new moon is associated with that as well. It could be doing something again with poetry, dancing, photography, anesthesiology, chemistry, the metaphysical, which includes astrology, and also could be a time where you may start to don a new appearance. It could be looking more mystical or ethereal or doing something that maybe you just uh, fantasized about as far as an appearance goes, a certain look. And also if you're trying to start to do something as far as changing the physical body, 
it could be something that you originally might have felt was unattainable or you fantasized about. And it could also be a time where you might begin, could be showing more compassion, sacrifice, altruism toward people that were prominent in your early childhood. It could be a grandparent in some cases. It could be the beginning of forgiving these people if there was some argument that you had with one at one time. Um, it could also be a time where you may, I uh, think the first house is also connected with the physical body, though the new moon is generally auspicious. I believe in some instances it can indicate it could be some kind of Pisces or physical related issue may begin. It could be something very minor, such as something with the feet, the toes, the lymphatic or immune system. It could be some minor bruising or injury to the feet or toes at this time, as some examples. Now, next thing up, there's going to be a full moon in Virgo on March 18th. So the seventh house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, this could be a time where, I mean, this could manifest in a multitude of ways. You know, one way it may do so, it could be the ending, the completion, or culmination of a Virgo related uh, business partnership. It could be doing something with analytics or some kind of data, or it could be a, like a professional organizing or cleaning business, as some examples. Uh, it could be a time where one may become tired, exasperated, or full, so to speak. Of, it could be a significant other or marriage partner that is overly pedantic or judgmental, critical, cynical. Um, in some cases, too, this could also be the revelation or unveiling of a significant other or marriage partner that may exhibit those qualities I just described associated with Virgo. It could even be the unveiling or revelation of a Virgo open adversary. It could be. A Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or one that embodies those characteristics, such as somebody, again, it could be somebody that's very judgmental, cynical, um, it could be a, a pedantic person, or somebody that comes across as very scrupulous, very proper and ethical. It may be a time, too, where you know, it might be a time where you're just maybe done yourself, even analyzing trying to discern somebody, a person that might be, it could be a significant other or somebody that's an important friendship um, you know, that you're involved in. The seventh house is connected with our relationships and that can include important friendships. Now anyway, the next thing up. Well, as far as March goes, Mercury will be in Aquarius from the 1st until the 10th, so the 12th house as well will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, one way this transit may manifest, it could be where you may be communicating about Aquarius-related things in solitude, seclusion, people prominent in your private life. It could be talking about innovations or computers, astrology, astronomy, altruism as some examples. Now, communications may be limited at this time. You're talking about Mercury associated with communications. The 12th house is the house of limitations and restrictions. Uh, it could also be a time where um, you know, Mercury is also connected with, uh, with siblings, cousins, and neighbors, and they may be Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Sun people, or simply ones that embody Aquarius characteristics. And these people, you know, could be you know, tied in with secret sorrows in some cases, or more prominent in your private life, or even be a hidden adversary in uh, some cases. Now, it could also be, you know, saying things that could be shocking, that come across as unpredictable, maybe even bizarre. It could be the self undoing at this time, so just be careful as far as that goes, Pisces. And, but it could also be a time where you really, you might be more, um, there might be more communications on the internet in private, and you may also be, you know, at this time, I mean, Mercury is also about short journeys, so it could be short journeys that you take, you know, very privately at this time. They could be, you know, could be of an unusual trip because this is Aquarius in some manner, and so, um, anyway, the next thing up.
Well, Mercury is going to be in Pisces as far as March goes from the 10th until the 27th. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, about that, but anyway. Again, Mercury is going to be in Pisces as far as March goes from the 10th until the 27th. So the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time, it can be a time for you, um, Pisces, where you may be communicating a lot about yourself. Um, it could be uh, where you come across as more loquacious and talkative more so than usual. You may be talking about Piscean like new beginnings such as something with the metaphysical which includes astrology or poetry or dancing or photography the paranormal if you believe that the metaphysical which includes astrology and it's about really uh this could be conversations uh, you know you may have that are with um, you know, people that were prominent in your early childhood it could be a grandparent and uh, these conversations that might be talking about what I just described, uh, things that are so associated with the zodiac sign, uh, Pisces, and remember that Mercury, again, is also connected with siblings, cousins, and neighbors, and maybe Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Piscean traits. They may figure more prominently in your new beginnings um, at this time, more so than usual. Remember that Mercury is also connected the arms, the hands, the lungs, breathe, breathing, and nerves. The fact that it's in the first house of the physical body, and also coupled with the fact you're talking about Pisces, energy could be very nebulous or unclear. It could be issues uh, with one or more of the things I just described that's associated with Mercury. That may be nebulous or unclear, you're not really sure of, as far as, you know, for example, a breathing issue or problem with the arms, the hands, the lungs, or the nerves in some cases. Now, anyway, next thing up. Well, Mercury is going to be in Aries as far as March goes, from the 27th until the 31st. So the second house is what we emphasize and highlight. Now, at this time, Pisces, this could be a time where you may be emphasizing communications about your values, which can be Aries related. It can be uh, about being courageous, having fortitude, um, aggression, assertiveness, initiative, and enterprise. Um, could be where your speech may be more direct and outspoken. Could be with people that you make uh, money with at your place of at your job. Uh, it could also be where your mind may be more impatient in monetary matters and the accumulation of possessions. And again, uh, siblings um, are associated with Mercury. Siblings, cousins, and neighbors are connected with Mercury. And these people may figure uh, prominently at this time um, in matters with your resources, your possessions, your self-worth, your self-esteem, and how you feel about yourself. These people may be Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Aries traits. Uh, it could also be a time where your mind may be more dominated than usual toward generating income. And it might be where you're, again, you could be very impatient in doing so, but you may also be communicating about pioneering and innovative uh, money-making ideas uh, at this time. So uh, anyway, well, the next thing up. Well, Venus is going to be in Capricorn as far as March goes from the 1st until the 6th. So the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time, um, Pisces, it's a time where you may value you know, structure and discipline, consistency in matters with goals and aspirations, your future. This is a time too where if you're unattached, you may connect with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or simply one that embodies those traits. And it may be somebody that plays an integral role you know, in your future, your goals, your aspirations. It could be in some group-related matter. Um, it might also be a time where you may be making, uh, it could also be about making money, doing something Capricorn-related. Uh, it could be doing something with dentistry or accounting. Um, information technology, dentistry, uh, 
general mundane work working in politics or the government and the fact that it's in the 11th house again it can be tied in with the goal or aspirations but it could also be an auspicious time for generating you know money from a business or a career as well and if you have any stepchildren if applicable it could be a time where you're showing there's more um it could be more love that is shown toward them more so than usual or you may have to want you may wind up spending more on them but in discipline capricorn it's not it's, it's probably nothing you know, but overly extravagant it's capricorn energy of course is very prudent and cautious venus and capricorn can be that way and very premeditative in regarding um, you know, spending to, spending on items and also being very prudent and cautious with what they buy so anyway well the next thing up venus will be in aquarius as far as march goes from the 6th until the 31st so at this time the 12th house is what we emphasize and highlight now this transit by itself in some cases can indicate you know, restrictions or limitations in income sometimes it could indicate theft of income keep in mind the 12th house is the house of fraud deception uh, disappearances venus is about money the fact that it's an aquarius of course it's something that could come in a very shocking you know, unpredictable manner very spontaneous matter it could be over the internet as well so be extra prudent and careful at this time uh, Pisces as far as your transactions go on the internet um, can also be a time too where it may emphasize clandestine affairs in some cases it could be with an Aquarius Sun Moon or ascendant person or one that embodies Aquarius traits it may be a time where you may be enjoying Aquarius related things in solitude or seclusion it could be doing something with astrology or astronomy uh, the internet computers electronics uh, as some examples and it might also be a time where you may be emphasizing peace more in your uh, in your private life as well but it could also be a time where it could be where lovers may be driving you figuratively crazy remember the 12th house is the house of mental illness um, and it could be just with some kind of unpredictable or erratic behavior uh, may, may be causing this at this time in some cases and it's a time where you may value just your 12th house related matters in general your privacy your solitude your seclusion um, it could be you know, helping those less fortunate than yourself and it could be doing so uh, in an Aquarius like manner doing so with a lot of selflessness and altruism now next thing well Mars is going to be in Capricorn as far as March goes from the first until the sixth so the 11th house is well being emphasized and highlighted at this time Pisces well, in some cases the situation with friends and acquaintances may be more contentious and acrimonious than usual there could be arguments over responsibilities career ambitions just general consistency um, could be over matters with coldness as well I don't mean temperature coldness I mean just being overly callous and, you know, undemonstrative as some examples uh, it can also be on a positive note though this may manifest in expending a lot of energy and vitality it could be on attaining um, aspirations and goals which could be Capricorn related uh, being associated with uh, could be dentistry accounting information technology government political work um, general mundane work masonry as some examples um, it could be where if you have any stepchildren there may be more battles um, with these people it could be over again matters associated with responsibilities or it could even be arguments over politics or the government in some other instances now it's also a time um, where it could also be where you're taking putting more energy and is more enthusiasm it could be in trying to make money from a career or a uh, business and the fact that this is in Capricorn which is associated with the career business could be a plus in that it could be a good I would say this is a good placement as far as a transit goes for that and anyway well the next thing up 
Well, Mars is going to be in Aquarius as far as March goes from the 6th until the 31st, so the 12th house is well be emphasized and highlighted. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now, um, again, Mars is going to be in Aquarius as far as March goes from the 6th until the 31st, so the 12th house is what we emphasize and highlight. Now, at this time, well, for one thing, by itself, this could be where you may have limitations and restrictions in your energy and vitality. You may have private number of private battles at this time. It could be over matters with computers or it could be on the Internet or even with friends or acquaintances and or matters pertaining to your goals, your aspirations at this time. It can be a time to where you may be putting a lot of energy and vitality into 12th house related matters. It could be you know, helping those uh, less fortunate than yourself and doing so with a lot of uh, Aquarius like selflessness, uh, altruism, humanitarianism. Uh, it can be, you know, fighting for these people as well. If you're, you know, could be fighting for you know, being like a human rights advocate and doing so for these people that you know, might be weaker or don't have, maybe they have difficulty in standing up for themselves or just less fortunate people in general. And now it could also be a time to, or in some cases, remember that Mars is also, I mean, Mars is associated with uh, accidents, it's injuries, and there could be some injury that's associated with something Aquarius related, such as the ankles, the shins, the nerves, the lower legs. Um, and it may be require hospitalization at this time because the 12th house is associated with hospitalization. Now, anyway, well, Jupiter is going to be in Pisces uh, for the entirety of March 2022. So the first house is what will be emphasized and highlight. Now, at this time, um, Pisces, now it could be a very fortuitous time for you. It can be a time where you may have greater prosperity and affluence and it could be in some Piscean new beginning such as doing something with poetry or dancing, photography, um, metaphysical which includes astrology, anesthesiology but it could also be um, in some cases it can uh, there can be a greater well when you have this transit it can actually be greater propensity in gaining weight um, at this time Jupiter is connected with obesity and again, it can enlarge and expand. In this case, it could be the waistline. So just be careful about as far as uh, possible weight gain at this time. Pisces Pisces is known to be a you know, sign that has the proclivity to gain weight anyway. And it could add, it could become, become a worse situation at this point in time for many Pisces. But at the same time, you may be coming across more as, uh, as more enthusiastic and exuberant at this time and optimistic. And being able, you might feel this time you may be able to be very optimistic and being able to attain things that maybe you felt were you know, insurmountable or things you only imagined or dreamed of uh, previously. But it can uh, also be a time as well where you know, it could also manifest in Jupiterian new beginnings as well, you know, such as something with sports or philosophy, religion, advertising, publishing as um, some examples, but there could also be um, physical related issues associated with Jupiter, such as something with the sciatic nerve or you know, the liver or the pancreas, and again, obesity as, um, as some examples. Now, anyway, next up. Well, Saturn is going to be an Aquarius, an Aquarius still, and it will be for the entire month of March 2022. So at this time, the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Pisces. Now at this time, it can be a more of an introverted and introspective period for you. It may be a time where you may be somewhat reclusive and you don't you may have difficulty letting others into your life. Pisces is known to be reclusive anyway and and isolate themselves often and it might increase that you know, propensity for that at this time at the same time sadly this can often uh, you know, indicate you know the loss 
of the father um, or it could indicate that you know whether it's actually through death or it could be where the relationship begins uh, or at least is diminishing or dissipating at this time some cases too it could also manifest in older people even being a hidden adversary at this time and you, know, but you have to guard against being overly you know more depressive at this time or despondent than usual keep in mind you know, the 12th house is the house of mental illness the saturn is connected with despondency and depression so just it, it's a time to just be extra you know, you know careful that you don't become you know overly sheltered and that could also play a role in i would say becoming more depressive um, as well, it's important to try to have certain, you know, interactions at this time, I would say, if possible, um, more so than usual. Um, now, anyway, well, I, it could also be a time where you might bury your sorrows in solitude and seclusion as well. It might be a harder time to actually you know, convey to others any feelings of any sadness as well. So, anyway, well, next thing up. Well, Uranus will still be in Taurus, so at this time, the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Pisces. It can be a time where you, know, you might have ideas that come in a very you know, extemporaneous and spontaneous manner. You might find that you know, siblings, cousins, and neighbors may be acting more unpredictably or unusually more so than usual. Um, it may be a time where you also are more apt to be communicating. Uh, about Uranus related subjects it can be you know, subjects associated with astrology astronomy um, innovation could be um, aerospace um, even a uh, meteorology aviation as some examples now it could also be a time where your communications you know might be a little bit more surprising whether it's coming from you or they're coming to you by someone else things that other people may be saying it could also be a time where you might be it could be about more you know, spontaneous short journeys um, at this time as well and your communications in general may be more sporadic and erratic than usual and maybe a time as well you know this is also you know, a period where the third house is short journeys and again you know, Uranus is unpredictable, so don't be surprised if you have a number of those unpredictable, you know, short journeys at this uh, point in time. And sometimes this could also indicate that friends, um, friendships that may be very loyal and steadfast, with Uranus being in Taurus, may have more of an impact on your rational thinking, and you know, and it might be for the good or bad, you know, depending on, let's say, the aspects as mixed to other points in the chart. Anyway, well, Neptune is still going to be in Pisces and will be for the entirety of March 2022, so the first house is going to be emphasized and highlighted. Now, at this time, I mean, this could manifest in a number of ways. Uh, Pisces, it could be a time where your energy and vitality may be dissipated or depleted at this time pisces is not exactly known for an abundance and surfite of energy anyway but it may be lessened at this point in time it could also be a time for uh, neptune slash pisces related new beginnings it could be doing something with poetry or dancing or photography or chemistry the metaphysical which includes astrology now there's also a tendency to kind of meander at this time and drift and maybe not have you know, much direction pisces is not exactly notorious for direction as it is and it could make it worse at this time so it's important to just make sure you know try to find you know your way at this time because this energy is such where it can make it difficult for you to even um, you know begin new begin new beginnings. It could be due to some confusion and you know, ambivalence at this time. Now it could also manifest in some cases as some Piscean you know, Neptune slash Piscean health related, fiscal related issues such as something with the feet, the toes, the lymphatic or uh, immune system at this time, and you may be feeling. Be just generally weaker more sluggish or more lethargic at this time uh, than usual 
and also to people that were prominent in your early childhood or even a grandparent may be um, very nebulous and unclear at this point in time. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry, Mecca, anyway, but last but not least, Pluto is still going to be in Capricorn. So at this time, the 11th house will be emphasizing how, of course, it'll be there for the entire month of March 2022. Now, in some cases, it could indicate the death, literal death of a friend or an acquaintance or somebody that was prominent in a group club or organization. It could also be a time where you may simply have more passion and desire for attaining goals and aspirations, but just be careful because Pluto can be very obsessive and fixated energy. You don't become so obsessed with this to the point, um, to the exclusion of, of everything else. And now in some cases as well, um, you know, the 11th house is stepchildren. So if you have any stepchildren and they're in school, there could be a little greater propensity for that person perhaps being bullied at this time because Pluto is connected with coercion. Now, it could also be a time where you're trying to gain more power and control over your future. Um, it can be also a time where, you know, keep in mind, Pluto is not just about literal death. It's about you know, figurative destruction, obliteration. It could be the ending of some friendships or some goals or aspirations you had or even... Um, there's some kind of connection with a group club or organization, maybe one that's Capricorn related, even though it's generational. Let's say it could be something with a government or political group or just a general business one or something, maybe even with carpentry or masonry or information technology as some uh, examples. But anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Learner, saying stay well.